Hey guys, today we're going to answer the question, how do I divide positive and negative fractions? So two numbers are reciprocals of each other if their product is one. And the reciprocal of a fraction is just the fraction flipped. Um, so example, the reciprocal of two thirds is three halves because if we multiply across two times three is six, three times two is six and six over six is one. So the reciprocal of a fraction is basically just its opposite. This is going to be important whenever we are dividing fractions because dividing is the opposite of multiplication. Okay. So keep that in mind. The reciprocal is the opposite of a fraction and the opposite of dividing is multiplying. So here are the steps that we're going to follow for dividing fractions. First of all, make sure you're following integer rules. You can use this Mickey Mouse to help you. So for example, if you have a negative times a negative, it'll be a positive. If you have a negative times a positive, it'll be a negative answer. Now to actually divide fractions, remember opposite of dividing is multiplying. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by the opposite or the reciprocal. So to divide, we will multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So instead of just dividing, we're going to multiply by the opposite, which can be done following these steps. Keep the first fraction the same. We're going to change the division to multiplication and then flip the second fraction so that we're multiplying by the opposite, AKA dividing. Then we will cross simplify and multiply the fractions as usual and make sure that we're writing the answer in simplest form. So three fourths divided by one eight. Instead of thinking about dividing fractions, I want to change this to multiplying the opposite. So I'm going to keep the three fourths the same, change the division to multiplication, and then flip the one over eight to eight over one. And now I'm multiplying by the opposite, which is the same as dividing. So I have changed it to a multiplication problem, and now I'm just going to multiply like usual. So I want to cross simplify. 3 and 1 do not have a common factor, but 8 and 4 do. Those are both divisible by 4. So now I have 3 over 1 times 2 over 1. And 3 times 2 is 6. And then 1 times 1 is 1. And 6 over 1 simplifies to 6. All right, let's look at number 2. I have a negative divided by a positive, so that means I'm going to have a negative answer. Okay, now I want to change this to multiplying by the opposite instead of dividing. So I'm going to keep the negative 8 sevenths the same, change the division to multiplication, and flip the second fraction. And now I can just multiply. So the first thing I want to do is check for cross simplifying. So eight and two have a common factor of two, so that'll change to negative four and one. And then nine and seven don't have a common factor, so those will stay the same. So it'll be negative four over seven times nine over one. And now I'm gonna multiply across negative four times nine is 36. And then seven times one is seven. And remember it was a negative answer since I had a negative divided by a positive. And then the last thing I need to do is change this to a mixed number. So seven goes into 36 five times. Five times seven is 35, remainder one. So negative 36 over seven reduces to negative seven or sorry, negative five and one seventh. Okay, let's look at number two. I have dividing fractions. It's a positive divided by a negative. So that means I'll end up with a negative answer. And let's change this division to multiplying by the opposite. So I'm gonna keep the six over 15 the same, change the division to multiplication and flip this second fraction. Okay, now before I multiply, I'm gonna cross simplify. 
5 and 15 are both divisible by 5, so the 15 will change to 3. That negative 5 will change to negative 1. And then 6 and 12 have a common factor of 6, so the 6 will change to 1, the 12 will change to 2. So my two simplified fractions are 1 third and then times negative 1 half. And now I just multiply across. Negative, or 1 times negative 1 is negative 1 6, and then 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, and then 3 times 2 is 6. So my final answer is negative 1 6. Okay, let's look at number four. I have a negative divided by a negative, so that means I'm gonna end up with a positive answer. And now I am dividing fractions, so let's change this to multiplying by the opposite. So negative seven over 12, I will keep that the same, change the division to multiplication, and then flip the second fraction. All right, now I'm going to cross simplify. Negative seven and five don't have any common factors, but six and 12 do. Those are both divisible by six, so the 12 will change to two and the negative six will change to negative one. So my fractions will change to negative seven halves times negative one fifth. Okay, negative seven times negative one is positive seven and two times five is 10. So seven tenths is the answer there. All right, let's look at number five. I have a negative divided by a positive. So that means I will end up with a negative answer. And I have a fraction divided by a whole number. So whenever I'm dividing fractions, it's easier to change it to multiplying by the opposite or reciprocal. So I'm gonna end up taking the reciprocal of 100. So I'm gonna put 100 in fraction form. 100 is the same as 100 over one. And now when I change this to multiplying this by the reciprocals, it'll be easier. I'm going to keep the negative two thirds the same, change the or division to multiplication, and then flip the 100 over one to one over 100. And now I can just multiply these fractions across, but first I'm going to cross simplify. Negative two and 100 are both divisible by two, so the negative two changes to negative one, and the 100 changes to 50. And then one and three don't have any common factors, so now I just multiply across. Negative one times one is negative one, and three times five is 150. So the answer here is negative 150. All right, last one, it says Oliver buys three avocados. The total weight of the avocados is one and a half pounds. What is the average weight of each avocado? So Oliver has one and a half pounds of avocados and that is split between three avocados. So we need to do one and a half divided by three. So I need to change both of these to be in fraction form just like a numerator over a denominator before we can divide. So let's convert the one and a half to a improper fraction. So one times two is two plus one is three. So we're gonna do three and a half divided by that three will change to three over one. And now I can keep the three halves the same, change the division to multiplication and then flip the three over one to one third. And then I can cross simplify these threes to ones. And the one and two don't have anything in common. So I end up getting one over two times one over one, which is just one half. So the average weight of each avocado was half a pound.